Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting, July 11th, 2018 at 7.05 in the municipal offices here at 8 Conway Street in South Deerfield. Uh, we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Would you please rise? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, just so everyone knows that these meetings are recorded. Uh, first thing item on our agenda is the minutes from May 30th. I want to introduce you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Kip Camosa. Oh, Carolyn Ness. Trevor McDaniel. Wendy Foxman, Town Administrator. I'm Diana Schindler. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So um, I make a motion to approve the minutes from May 30th, 2018. Um, I'll second that. Is there any further discussion? Nope. Are those, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Then I'll um, make a motion to approve. June 30th. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve June 13th. 13th. Uh, I'll second that. Is there any further discussion? No. Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you so much for the minutes. Yes. Good um, shape. Next, uh, we have a, a hearing or appearance before the board at 7.15. Uh, is there anything that we want to talk about prior to this? Um, it's your decision. I can, well, how much time do you have? Seven minutes? Yeah, seven minutes. Eight. In heaven. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we could do the transfer count, transfers. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you've got those documents now. And let me just report quickly. There were two, uh, there was a finance committee meeting just before your meeting, and um, they also acted on your appropriation transfers as well as two reserve fund transfers. Um, you want to know about those transfers? Sure. Yep. Um, one of them was $2,000. From um, town clerk bylaw maintenance uh, to an account number, but for the purpose of really uh, working with general code publishers who maintains yep. our code books to move along the process. We talked about this at a previous meeting of codification and updating our bylaws to the point where a committee can work and we can work with them on um, getting them in good shape. That great. Long overdue. They had a very good healthy discussion about this at the Finance Committee meeting. And the other transfer, both of these were approved, um, was for uh, $5,200.69. This was to cover additional debt costs on the pay down of, I'm, I'm sorry, interest costs on the long-term debt on the notes that were uh, paid down somewhat by the sale of the property. Um, okay. Uh, to uh, New England Natural Bakers, and then we will um, uh, haven't you know? We'll have the other payment from the other closing from the other sales. So this was not known at the time mm -hmm. uh, that there would be this debt, this um, additional interest cost. So the treasurer requested this to, and that was done. And we don't need to take any action. We don't need to take that? any okay. action. Do we just need to take action on these? Yes. Okay. And the Finance Committee did approve these two. These two as well? Yeah. Okay. Um, I make a motion to approve uh, the transfer of um, $13,452 to cover um, uh, the executive assistant position and $5,700 to cover the planning board um, expenses. Second. Is there any further discussion? None. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Oh. You can even sign them. Right. Great. I'd be happy to explain anything if you wanted to. Okay. Um, were we going to um, do a sewer abatements? I didn't see those. I didn't either. Uh, I didn't see any more sewer abatements. Um, or were these the oh, same ones? Well, I was going to have Trevor report yeah, about I them. Can, I can Give me a moment while I gather. I'm sorry, there were only, yeah, I gave you the third thing. Yes. Uh, so I'll take these a little bit one at a time. Was it, oh, just before I got through that, was there another spot to sign? 
that other one? There's just two. These are the reserve fund. We have three. Bear with me one second. So before I move along, all I have is uh, a space to sign this one. Right. Where's the other one? Show you a copy of it. Oh, is that the one you I punched? Don't, I don't, yeah, I don't have <laughs> oh, I have a copy. I have a copy. Which one's the one we signed? The 5700 is the one okay. I don't have a spot I have the to 13. sign. I'll just sign this. You can use my Do you have the 5700 one there? Great, thank oh. you. It doesn't show place well, to sign. Well, except, okay, which one has the reserve? I'm sorry, which one has the original signature on it? The one you have. The one you have. No, there were the, I only have one. I know. I Did you punch it? Funds. No. All right. These are all reserve funds. Oh, okay. I'm looking for the other appropriation right. transfer. I don't have an original. I, don't have, I only have this one. I only have copies of that. I only have the 5700 that has no original thought. This is the 5700. I'm sorry. All okay. right. All right. All right. But see, there's nowhere to sign. No, see, right. that's because it's a reserve fund. It's okay. reserve fund. You don't need to do that. Correct. <laughs> sorry. All right. <laughs> yeah. Keep tricking me up. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. So, um, so some of the sewer abatements that we were going to take action on, others not. I'll just report out. You know, I met with Ralph Healy, talked to him about um, his re request, and um, the issue with his was that it was they read that his meter uh, a lot early, earlier than they normally do. So um, we went through and discussed that, and uh, his abatement, I think, was for he was requesting was for um, one hundred and sixty-one dollars. Um, he had uh, done a lot of lawn, lawn watering, and the way they had, when they read the, the thing, they read it a lot earlier than they normally do, and it just caught the tail end of his well, they has, ball. They do that for everybody, you know. know. So. It, has, it well, has been dry. If you look at his time frame, it's like these two days, or these two, you know, I don't know, right. weeks. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know, you guys could discuss. I met with him, it seemed reasonable. Could you speak up because with this air conditioner running back here? Oh, all these, sorry about that. Have all these speakers oh. around here and nobody yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the mics are for the. Pardon? The, the mics, mics are for the. I know, but we have other meetings when we have. I know, when it's more of, amplified. Yeah. So. Mine. Okay. So just to recap, I'm, uh, we're going over some, su uh, some sewer abatements, and uh, one of them was from Ralph Healy, and I um, met with him earlier in the week or late last week, and we discussed reasons for his request for abatement, and it had to do with um, reading his meter much earlier than normal, and so they caught the tail end of his irrigation, which normally gets shut off, and so he was just respectfully asking for a small abatement on his um, sewer bill, because that's kind of when it, obviously that's related to, to the water bill. Um, so he had get, given me a lot of data going back many, many years of, you know, his constant what he uses and when and when it, when it gets read. And it looked like, to me, it looked like a, a valid request. But I'll, I'll leave it to the board if they wanted to review it. I recommended it, but you guys could. May I, may I address that? So of course you could, sure. I think you're on the same street, right? Well, they should talk about it before the public does. Bruce, <coughs> Bruce St. Peter's. Uh, I am on a sewer study committee, and one of our things was to address rates and so forth. Bruce, you have to speak up. <laughs> yeah. yeah what, Bruce St. Peter's from the sewer study committee. Uh, one of our charges was to look at uh, rate, uh, rates and so forth to suggest to you people. And that was some uh, suggestion, that was something I brought up, I believe, last year about the uh, um, um, inadequacy of the reading of the uh, water meters and so forth because uh, I, I presented uh, a case where uh, the town bills for sewer are based I believe on a May to November the water bills are based anywhere from April to the end of November and I understand what Ralph is uh, saying I explained it to him however uh, if you're going to do it for one then you have to do it for everybody uh, this particular reading was approximately 180 days. It's probably the closest to a half year that has been in the last five or six years. And it's going to happen continually. Uh, and I understand you have no control over the water district, uh, but this is going to be a very lopsided. And unless you're going to start taking applications and looking to everybody that this has happened to, 
uh, I would, my personal opinion, it should not be done for only one case because this has happened to many people. Thank you. And, and, and I tend to agree with that. I mean, it, it's not an isolated case. This, this, we have no control of when the water department right. reads these and, and that we're, uh, I guess, uh, gracious that uh, they supply us that information at no charge to us. So um, everybody was in the same boat. Right. So, um, you know, I don't think that there's much that we can do with that. Um, why don't we take it under advisement for the moment because okay. um, Trevor had looked into it and I, I just wanted okay. to verify that um, are there others that are in the similar situation? There are and I think, I think you know, part yeah. of the problem is we have no control over when they read yeah. them and the right. people don't know when they read them and they're very sporadic. So how does anybody get, how do we as sewer commissioners and setting rates and billing, how do we have any, any control over when it gets read? Well, we, we don't. And, and so how do you? The uh, only thing that we could do is if we wanted to hire somebody to go out and do our own meter readings, and then we'd have to, you know, if you wanted to say, well, we're going to do them from May 1st to the 10th and just rely on our own information. Uh, I don't think that the readings are going to be a whole lot different than what we get. Um, but I, I well, it would, I think it would one. give people the opportunity to shut off their irrigation, you know, at a certain time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's so I'm I'm fine table in that if you, if you want, and then uh, discussing that further and to, maybe yeah. working with. I want to look at ways to f figure yeah. that out. When I met with Ralph, he made a, a good case for it. But you're right, Bruce. There's probably many others that have that same case. Yep. So um, I don't know if they if everybody is read on the same exact day. Well, do you, do you happen to know? I don't think that they are on the exact same day, but all within a, a few days they are. They are, they are not, but it's done, it's done in a very short period because most of their stuff now is drive-by readers. Right. But the, uh, the other side of the coin is, in this particular year, yes. And I brought this forward before. But what happens is uh, I'm more concerned with how it uh, bounces the anticipated budgets up for the sewer up and down is right. what happens. Right. But as far as the individual... Yes, it's going to happen this year where a lot of us been, kind of paid a penalty. But by the same token, next year, if, if it's read early, well, then the sewer department takes a beating on that because it didn't get a true reading for the 180 days. So over the long period of uh, time, I feel it irons out because it's, you still got 365 days total. Right. So, you know, your reading may be 140 for one period and 180, but the next following may be back down to 140, so which case you're going to gain on that. So over however, a long period of time, however it's, the, it's going to level out. On a short period of time, you get these bumps. But aren't the rates different? The, the rates are different depending on what time of the year it is. The rates are no. the same. The, 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 rate, I mean, the amount, the abated, the, the abated amounts. Right. Uh, right. It's, bait, it's, it's uh, no more than 25% of the... Uh, winter, winter rates, but right. as I said, that that can reflect on the sewer bill on 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 the uh, uh, on one year versus another one year. year versus the other. Right. Correct. If you look at the overall picture, it balances out. On any given year, you're going to get some tremendous spikes. Right. You know, until you can until you can uh, level out the uh, time frame. Mm. So that's that's what we need to work on. Yeah, you have to. You, I I don't feel that you should be looking at the very narrow one year block. You've got to look at the overall that's, picture that's and why say I you will. I some some years the customers right. uh, make out, some years they t take a beating. But overall, the picture. Yeah, this seemed to be a because little you know dramatic. we're not going to come in if if we ended up a short year and say, hey, our bill was too short. Right. Exactly. All right. right. Thank you, and Bruce. That's, and well, that's think, why I want to look at. Well, yeah, it. Right. take take a look. I think that's we so should good. put this on our agenda for our future meeting and discuss yep. this more. I and, agree. Uh, you know, each of us can. Well, we d we need to look at the revenue stream and and exactly. just look at what the impact is. I get um, sure. kind of thing. So all yeah. right. So all right. Next yeah. next one is uh, Daniel Telega. This was um, an error in reading by the water department, and they had sent a letter. This is similar right. to the others where they had sent a letter that they had overcharged um, by a significant amount. I think overcharged by four, forty thousand four hundred gallons. Did we not approve that last time? Uh, we had last time. Last year. Yeah. No, no, uh, it was so a different claim. No, right. this was a different claim last year for him. He had had a leak, but this one was a letter that written by right. the water department to him saying we misread your reading. Right. But we did we did address that on several other several other others. Other correct sure. when they when they were. They There's were continuing to come in. Yeah. Since, so, yeah. Um, well, I'm okay with that. So I make yeah. that's fine. I make a recommendation to abate. 
And um, I, I, I will support Daniel that. Talega. Or okay. if you want to make a motion, then I'll make a motion to abate Daniel Talega due to the error in reading. Um, um, I'll second that. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 This was also an irrigation one where they had added a lawn and put a ton of water on the lawn. So I think maybe again we should talk about this sure. with yeah. in conjunction with the others. Here, give this back to Trevor. Sure. Again, another irrigation. So it seems like the irrigation is the uh, so we have one. This one here, yeah, rebuilding lawn. This was a meter reading error. Let me just take this. The, the meter reading ones. But I, if I it's think not a letter from the yeah. water department, I table that too to look at it further with you guys. Um, okay. The, this one is just requesting that the meter be read. Uh, so again, I'll have you look at that. Okay. So. Thank you, Trevor. Right. Thank Thanks. You. Um, so the purchase and sale. No, for, let's do oh, this. Okay. Um, so we're going to have an appearance from uh, Mark Malone, an attorney. No, I'm Don't sorry. Uh, this is, we switched, switched those around. We switched them. So it's the Mimi uh, Foley Mimi and, and Pam. Clark from New England. New England. Oh, Natural, Bakers. Didn't change my thing. Natural Bakers, come That's on it. up. All right. Come on Mimi up. and Pam. My name's Dee Dee, by the way. Oh, <laughs> Dee Dee. Yeah. Why do we have um, Mimi down? Who brought the food? Oh, who knows? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, wait. Who are these oh, goodies? Thanks. New England Natural. Oh, no, not, not the marijuana. Oh, Just for the know. public. <laughs> this is not the marijuana goodies. <laughs> public is welcome to natural take natural This may be samples. edibles, but not those kind of edibles. <laughs> yes. Well, Dee Dee and Pam, welcome. it's really exciting to welcome. see you. Yes. Thank you for coming in. Is, is settled and, and uh, we now own it. So mm -hmm. right. it's one step. That's right. We're thrilled. Good. So, yeah. what's your uh, timeline now? Um, and I mean, it's pretty exciting. I know you were working with the state. Mm -hmm. We are working with the state and we're working with some other financial people, and, and uh, we're just trying to figure out what the best option for us is going forward now. Okay. So, do you have a t timeline? This is pretty exciting for us. The timeline is not quite decided as soon as we can do that that's in our best interest too believe me we are yeah. bursting at the seams yeah. and we have two locations and it's just it's just not a good good situation so right now you're operating in two spots we are and you'd like to consolidate when you're of course there. yes and our plans are complete great they're all done great. so we're excited about that and it's uh, it's baby steps, but we're we're moving in the right direction. Have we have we dealt with the water issue yet? Did you, did yes, you, that was all resolved according was. to okay. yeah Wendy in the water department. Okay. Because we were going to have a meeting, but you had said that ev that had all been taken well, care of. Well, I had asked Kip, and he had said it had been taken care. Yeah, <laughs> it's settled. On that. As far as the water connection issues and how that was going to happen. I, no, I have no clue. I've, I've not been, the, the last, I, we were, was, You were at the water department, and that, it was all. Decided. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I have no, no knowledge changed. of what your plan is to how you're going to deal with that. Are you going to leave the water main as it is, or are you going to change the locations of it? I mean, that. Yes, we had agreed with you and the water department that we oh. would um, run a water line down Merrigan Way. Oh, great. Do you, do you know nope. remember that? I, I, it was a discussion, but uh, the last at the meeting I was at, the, your engineer um, had said it was going to be a more expensive way to do it for you, and that uh, I w had no knowledge that uh, that's what you had finally decided to do. But that's, that's, I think, I think that's the best solution. I, right. I really do. And yes, and we agree. We yeah. agree. Okay. Great. Great. Oh, thank, thank you. you, because I, I, I also agree. It's the least for everyone. It's the least hassle. In the long and, run. And mm -hmm. it's straightforward. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. So let's Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. So when you say your plans are done, you mean your uh, 
uh, uh, is it the design or what design do you is by complete? Great. Yeah. Design is done, and um, we're we're just working on the financial piece at this point. Yeah. We have a meeting even you tomorrow. Could give to us to show us because we are also about uh, to close on the other parcel, mm -hmm. and it, there there is a need to talk to you about a connection that they'll need to make and to get an easement perhaps from you. Um, and I could talk to you about that, but. Um, yeah, we'll we'll have to have our attorney. Well, yeah, then, um, yeah. it, it would be wonderful if we could see your plans because we're also the site plan review board for you. And I thought you had you already got already permitted. Gone, mm -hmm. already they gone. were permitted. They, yeah, they were. Oh, so submitted. you didn't change the design at all? We have not, not any this changes. Point, no. Nope. Oh, okay. No. Great. All right. I I'm, I'm just concerned because. Or you should check into it. I'm on the planning board, and I should know this off the top of my head. I don't know. But site plan reviews are only good for so many years, and I think you did that three years ago. Uh, Bruce, can you add something to this? It's the purview of the select board that did site plan reviews? Yes, expedited, yes. Yes. expedited yes. permitting. Mm -hmm. This is the expedi expedited. No, but we follow the planning board bylaws. It was less than two years ago. Was it two years? Less than two years? No. It was more than two years ago because the night that they did the uh, uh, the presentation for Boris Sleckman, we had a planning board meeting in that uh, in the kitchen area, and then we attended that. and I and I remember that distinctly because the part of the site plan that we were presented to sign off for had no dimensions on it, and that's why we wouldn't sign off on it that night. Uh, I know it, it was quite bizarre, but there was a plan, but it had no numbers on it, and uh, you know. I didn't know the I don't know. I wasn't on a slide. Trevor and I weren't here. There was so. no need for one? It was pretty, it's a pretty straightforward building. So all of your stone drainage calculations were presented and evaluated by the committee? Their engineer was presented, yes. Yeah, I do remember that. Okay. Um, do we need to check on a date with that? Okay, I, when we'll we closed that. on the land, I thought the attorney um, you said it was re re requested that the expedited permitting be extended. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was taken care of, but okay. I can oh, check, okay. check okay. that. It, it, it might check be. On it might be. Yeah. I just as long as there's no changes yeah. or anything. Okay. But been none. We just want to check that because yes. it, if everything is the same, met every, all our requirements, and everything was checked off. So, it, if if there if it is expired in the length, we just need to run through it again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, we're just excited that you're moving forward. Right. We, you have we no idea. Too. We're excited <laughs> too. <laughs> yes. Very good. That's good. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for coming. You have any other questions or for us? Any questions for us? No. 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 No, no, I, I will check with the attorney on the expedited permit. Well, we just we just want to make sure yeah, that there's I do no... Yeah, because I don't want to go through... I know it's a long process, yeah. and mm -hmm. I'd rather... Yeah, we, well, we, it's not really a long process, because we can meet. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we just have to post the meeting for 48 hours, and okay. we can review it. And, okay. okay. I mean, we don't certainly won't, don't want to hold you up, so... No. If, I, if it's beyond whatever the statutory requirement is, then... Right, and especially since if you don't have an actual bill date now, it, I, I don't know. But if if it did go into next fall or even next spring, you know, I don't I don't know what the timeline is because I don't know when that's a plan, the date they were approved, yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, we but just want to check. So yes. there's no problem. So yeah. is it, do you, is there something you want me to check on my end or? Um, I'll, I'll take. I'll take. Well, when do I you, have a note. Yeah. When do you will run it by our lawyer be because you know <laughs> there 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 she would be. Um, guiding us on what, you know, um, limitations we would, you know, okay. are going to face on that. Mm -hmm. And if you need, Wendy, if you need me to do anything, please contact Feel free me. Absolutely. to reach out. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. We'll be in touch. All right. Okay. I, I just want to show you this for the other parcel. Oh, yeah. Please. We can talk oh, yeah. about it now if you want. Oh, yes. We Maybe we should as long as we're here. Yeah. Um, it's later in the agenda. We have a, um, we have that map. I see. Um, the I parcel map. Oh, um, and we, have, parcel uh, on we don't have to go through all of that right now because I don't think we have time. Okay. Uh, we have uh, comments from. Uh, I don't have a map. 
This okay. is the first thing I want you to see. Was it the oh, sewer the easement? Was the yes, sewer easement correct. you wanted? Yes. Okay. So um, I just want to show you this. They they need to um, have the. I was wondering. So, this stuff that their lawyer was asking for. Um, and this is our reply back from. The, I I'm I'm okay with no, this one. This one. But okay. We'll, we'll, I, well I'll have to run it by okay. the yeah. attorney. With this one, the first one. Yeah, the first one. one. No. Nope. I'm sorry. Okay. No. Okay. And approval tie-in from there. We don't control it. Yeah. I'm okay with this one. You know, doing some kind of sign. Mm -hmm. Um, our the person that is buying in the other parcel, mm -hmm. they were interested in signage, like outside, like you would outside an industrial park kind of thing. So, we would um, include you on the signage. So, okay. Um, just to let you know, that was a request we had, and so we would put our town garage there, you and the Dumont Corporation. They, they said Main Street. Did I just narrow the? I think really it was an error on their sense. part. We Thank talked about that. Sure. Yeah, Thank sure. Thank you. Um, and I'm, I'm not. I want to discuss yeah, this because I, I don't I think, think that's. Tie into this I, I, I haven't seen that, so I'll, okay. I'll look. Look. So I don't know why I don't have that one, but. It's about two thirds of the way through your packet. Next one. Yeah, right. There you yeah. go. Okay. So we'll talk about that. I'll follow up. We'll so talk. Okay. what we're talking about is the fourth item. Where's your is second the, building? I was at your so one. Where's your other? Requesting we have from the one in Greenfield, um, and then our, we have a Vegas. warehouse in Turner's Falls. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, it's funny because the other company is also moving from Greenfield and Turner's Falls. So. Oh, okay. It's huh. the Dumont. Yep. Corporation, okay. Maybe read about it in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> there, um, I'm not really sure where is that. And can, um, What's that? The easement? Yeah. This where's the sewer the, easement right here? Right. So where's their building? Were, where's Natural Baker's building? And can, it's going to uh, be over here. Over here. here. Yes. Okay. So. So I think they just the need. Somehow to tie into this sewer here. Okay. It, it appears. I mean, obviously, you would have your lawyers look at it, but it, it appears to be um, on the far end of your parcel. You know, right on the border of your parcel. Okay. Yeah, we just gave them the map. Yep. They okay. Have that now. So they can take that. All right. Great. It's not anywhere close to your building. Okay. And they're, okay. they're going to be, uh, if all goes smoothly, closing shortly and building as very quickly. And it's going to be a, a prefabricated building. Okay. 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 Great. Okay. Well, well thank we'll you very much. So thank much you so much for coming. Thank you again. Thank you all. It's you really much. nice to meet you, and I'm uh, well, welcome to town. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. Yeah. We can't really wait to get here. <laughs> I bet. Our right. people say well, the same thing. Well, we feel Good. really fortunate because the Dumont is a small. That's locally great. owned company as well, and yeah. and we really wanted um, locally owned nice neighbors. So mm -hmm. I feel like we're really lucky. So thank you. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Have, Have a, a good great night. night. So you. the purchase and sale on the Oxford property site. That's uh, yeah. That's that's, that's worth all that. Okay. Yeah. There's a motion and the actual. Uh, do I, we have I to have do the we have to have sign before we um, do the. Um, so do we have to organize? I mean, do they, we have yeah, to. Yeah, do you want to our, talk about those things? Yes, I do. First, what's that? do you want to talk about it now? Yes. Bruce? Yes, I have a question on the process we were discussing. Has that come through site plan review from the clock board yet? No. 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 They, so they don't have design plans ready? No. 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 Not yet. Well, sewer, what is the sewer hookup fee? Is that specific to each, to the use, right? Each individual is charged um, the fee, and I forget what the fee is. I don't remember either. Yeah, we have a fee, yeah. Have a fee schedule. Yeah, yeah we, we, it's in your book. <laughs> um, we we did this like five years ago, four yeah. years ago. Yeah. 
Mar well, we're not waiving any fees. No. no, 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 no. Well, that was the question they've no. asked, no. and we've been. It's been recommended not to mm -hmm. by council. So. I, I'm, I, my opinion is no. We no. don't normally do that. No. Uh, no, I think I think that they understand that. It's I, I just think it's this, I think it's this is nature right. to ask. Yeah, of course. Plus, um, you know, this is not a traditional industrial park, and I think that, that some of the questions are being approached from that angle. So yeah, um, you know, and, and I think that the company expects that you know they have to do so, some inf infrastructure changes, and I think the price of the property reflected that. Yeah. So you know. That was the question. Okay. Uh, so, so, so do you want to just go over this list? I mean, yeah, I my, think that makes sense. My, the first one was no. Oh. I, I mean, I felt pretty strongly. Oh, I'm sorry. Go I didn't get a chance to read it, but yeah, no, that's what, I, I agree with that. Do you want to talk so, about it so people know what we're yeah, doing? Yeah, so why don't, do you want me to read, read the question? Sure. Sure. So the question was um, on, on this Dumont property, they, they were asking for certain certain things, and one was waiving the permitting fees. Um, and I think the sentiment here is that we wouldn't we we would not like to waive I mean, the we fees. Don't. Building no. fees. Building fees. It's permitting special. fees. Right. Permit fees. Second was to uh, approve of the tie into water on Merrigan Way. Again, that's they'd have to take that up with the district, the water district. Um, it's uh, you know Merrigan Way is a public way. However, the water lines um, are controlled by the independent water district. This select board does not have control over the water line. Um, and then the other was approval for a sign to be located on Main Street and Merrigan Way. I think they meant Sugarloaf. Sugarloaf yeah, Street. Yeah, and I think they, oh, go ahead, Bruce, you had a question? Uh, I don't believe there's a water line in Merrigan Way currently. Correct. I, there is. Uh, I mean, th you're correct. There is not. There, there is not. Natural there, Bakers. Correct. What yeah. they're, what they're putting in. And yep. Will it become a um, district water line or will it become private? I think I it's, going, it's to be going to be district. You do? I do. I think it will be. I don't know. That's it's really up to the district. Up, up where to it's the going district. To be. Well, but it right. Correct. Currently, correct. where these the Dumont Company will connect to the end of the eight-inch line that is existing in Merrigan Way, but it's not fed from Sugarloaf Street. It's fed from Coates Ave across, and there's another T section that goes between two homeowners off of Sugarloaf Street. But where these people, the Dumont Company, would connect to the end of the eight-inch main that is currently in uh, Merrigan Way. And it would not affect the bakeries people because if they extend the water line from in front of the highway garage to Sugarloaf Street, it, this is already existing there. So. Understood. Okay. Um, but it might not be existing <clears throat> when Dumont wants to do the building. They didn't give you a time frame. No, I understand, but the well, water the water line in American Way will is be there right now. Will be different it's, from. It's just not fed from Sugarloaf Street, but the eight-inch line that is Duma installed. is installed. It went by the uh, highway garage to the end of the driveway, okay. and that's where it stops. And these got these the Dumont company would attach there and bring it to their uh, facility. And there'll be a, somebody will charge a fee for hookup fee. Yes. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I mean, it's the water, up to the water district. It's up to the water district to charge that. So I'm sure they will charge a fee for that. So um, <clears throat> the other item was uh, approval for a sign to be located on, they said Main Street, but we believe it to be Jigglow Street and Merrigan Way. Um, I, I, would, I would say that I don't have a problem with that, but I would like to have the authority to review the sign. The of course. And stuff like that. Oh, yep. absolutely. I think they're looking for absolutely. kind of a location Deer, sign. Right. Deerfield, uh, there are bylaws for signs do allow up to 32 uh, square feet, but I think, I personally think that would be too large in that area. No, mm -hmm. I, I, th I think the way they were looking for is approval. Yep. Kind of a, yep. And, and location and sign. Right. Just so directional, know, directional rather than advertising. Highway, garage, sure. and right. makers. And yep. Yep. Would, it would be a combo thing. Yep, yep. So that sounds fine. Um, do you want me to read the next? Uh, I'm not really sure about this. It says uh, the request was we understand the town is aware of buried asbestos pipe on the property from the former site tenants. Apparently, this is left over from the irrigation system that is no longer used. When the highway department building was constructed, the buried asbestos pipe was located and removed, but 
only under the site in which the building was constructed. Uh, I had a phase one study done and there was no record of anything other than an irrigation system under the site on which the building was constructed. Yeah, you, oh, you went back to Did this. I go, yeah, <laughs> which, go uh, which, all right, which doesn't <laughs> typically uh, have asbestos material. Uh, since this is something that has, uh, that was known by the town but not disclosed, I would like to ask the town to help with removal. I would propose that I pay to dig up the pipes and the town handle the disposal um, as it did from the highway department building site. And so um, this is a note from our attorney, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I, am, I am not sure the town is aware of buried asbestos pipe. The town made no representations with regard to the property and the property is sold as is. Please advise specifically what you're looking for. So kind of where that one's left. I, um, I'm not aware of uh, it's news to me. I don't know anything I, about it. So I, I don't know anything either. I mean, I, yeah. I don't remember anything. We need to clarify. I know Kevin met with their engineers. So. Okay. Okay. So, so let's, that's let's tabled. Tabled. Um, yeah. There is a sewer easement, but it's but it is not on the portion of property we are that's purchasing. Nice. This is what we discussed before. Obviously, we'll need a sewer connection, and from what we understand, the connection on Merrigan Way is not deep enough to permit the flow of sewage, which necessitates. Uh, connection at the other end of the property. The owner of the adjacent property would need to grant an easement. The town does not own that property. The town is willing to allow the sewer in the actual sewer easement. Um, so again, that's the discussion we were talking about that they'll have to get together and get an easement from New England Natural Bakers. One thing that I can say, with the type of uh, business that's going in there, uh, it's just going to be human waste primarily. Um, I, I don't think that it would be, it, it might even be to their advantage to put in a, a tank with a pump station and just use the existing sewer that's in Merrigan Way. Uh, it's not that far of a distance. I, you know, I don't know if they've thought of that, but yep. I think that might be the way to go. Instead uh, of doing the easement? Well, even if they got an easement, they'd have to run the pipe for quite a several hundred feet, you know, and they right. have to deal with that brook and so there's a lot of expense going there. Versus I mean, some other choice. Yeah, I don't know. I think that if their facility was, you know, two or three hundred people at maximum, I, I just don't see that it would be that big of a deal. But, huh. you know, okay. as for them to figure out. But, yep. Um, so you pretty much agreed with the um, council's recommendations? Yes. yes. I, I'm good with that. So yep. I'll follow up with Mr. Hagopian. Okay. Okay. Um, was this all had to do with that? Yes. Okay. So, okay. And the motion. Well, we got to move. The it's the yeah, move it now to go forward. Um, yeah. These were just other issues, so I put them all together. So, is there a motion behind that? Do you want me to read it? Do we want? Do we want we to do the motion, motion? tonight? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, I move the 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 board vote to approve and authorize the sale of a certain parcel of land in the south in South Deerfield. Mass 01373 located on assessor's map 175 lot 55 consisting of 2.87 acres more or less shown as partial C on the plan entitled subdivision not required plan of land in Deerfield Massachusetts prepared for the town of Deerfield by Harold Hell L Eaton and Associates Inc Hadley Mass September 30th 2016 and recorded in the Franklin County Register of Deeds in Plan Book 140, page 41, to Eric Hagopian or his designee, said conveyance authorized by Article 5 of the Town of the Annual Town Meeting of the Town of Deerfield, held April 28, 2008, and continued to April 30, 2008 and to authorize the select board chair to execute any documents necessary to effectuate this sale. Second. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Great. You can do those at the end of the meeting. Okay. So.
Bruce, I'm sorry. Uh, do you have a data set for site time review process? Uh, for <coughs> Dumont's? No. no, we haven't received anything from them yet. Okay. No uh, plan. Um, yes, it would be. Can you give me your you questions ahead of time? <laughs> Do they have frontage? I don't believe. Um. No. They don't need it there, I don't believe. Not in the expedited, no, yeah. Not in the expedited permitting district. That's what I, that's what I read in that as well. Because yeah. American doesn't go that far, is that the idea? It just ends. Right. No, they don't. And they it's would just, just have a driveway. It's, it's, right. it's like yeah. an industry park. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, 7.45. Uh, we have a hearing with Mark Vallone and attorney Thomas Lesser. You guys want to come forward? Nice to meet you. There's Hello? plenty more seats if you need to. Yeah, I'll bring up chairs. Yeah, bring up chairs or whatever you need. And then you can Thank introduce you. yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, so welcome. Well, it's good to be here. We'd like to get the process underway as soon as possible. Okay. Um, we've presented you <laughs> with a book which outlines what we plan to do. Okay. And we were applying for licenses and under the name of Deerfield Naturals LLC. The okay. principal is Mark Vallone. And uh, you may, I think probably you know Mark from living in Deerfield. He's a business person in Deerfield. Yep. He's with Atlantic Furniture. And I just want to interrupt you for two minutes and yes. say thank you so much for um, your donation to the EMS building. It was wonderful. Thank yeah. you. Very, Thanks. Very nice. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. No problem. He's a I, resident, I just, resident of Deerfield. When you said he was a local businessman, you know, I his, just wanted uh, to add. His bad. children He's went to the Deerfield nice. schools. Uh, we believe in local, and we're going to hire local people. And we've hired local people to the extent that we can to date. Okay. And um, as you know, uh, Mark owns, if I can call him Mark or Mr. Vallone, whichever you'd prefer. Um, he owns a, a <laughs> large building in, in Deerfield. And that would be the place that the cultivation would take place. There'd be a retail store for medical marijuana and for recreational marijuana. And there'd be a portion, and we've presented plans in this booklet. Oh, great. Which show a, a manufacturing site also. And so we start off with uh, Mark Vallone is the chief executive officer. Matthew Plotkin is here. He's the operations and facility director. And he has managed and built over 400,000 square feet of buildings in, in, the, in the past five years, and as soon as we get our applications approved locally and by the Cannabis Control Commission, we're ready to start building. And um, I think that's a, a huge plus for the town because I think we can be in operation sooner than anyone else could be in operation. Um, we think that we can complete the build out within six months. And traditionally, in this area, it takes at least a year. Uh, but we have the facility, and we have the people who are, who are ready to do the build out. We have a human resources uh, manager. Um, our chief of security is going to, we've been talking to Lieutenant John Carney, who's a retired state trooper. When I talk about local, we're trying to stay as local as we can, even down 
to the security. He's a Deerfield resident, and he'll be putting together the security plan, which we'll be presenting as time goes on in accordance with the Massachusetts regulations. Mm -hmm. And they're very specific about regulation in terms of perimeter fencing, in terms of cameras, in terms of exterior cameras, in terms of interior cameras. Yeah. I mean, next to a casino, I think there's probably more cameras in a marijuana facility than, than anywhere else. Um, and then we have three people who are here tonight. We brought them here in case you wanted to question them with James Frost and Jason Cullinan and um, Jalal Jones. And Mr. Valone is a business person and he runs a big business, but he has not personally been involved in well, nobody really in Massachusetts has been involved in the, in the cultivation of marijuana. People have been from out of state, yep. but he's hired three experts in this field who will be taking over, who will be responsible for that aspect. Yep. One is an expert in manufacturing, one is an expert in cultivation, and, and one is actually an expert in putting facilities like this together in terms of lighting and everything else. The location is 10 Deerfield, um, Greenfield Road, right on 5 and 10. It's um, within the town of Deerfield Marijuana Overlay District. The property is presently secured by a chain link fence, and it's 13 acres. And so they're certainly sufficient. One question was, I, I saw the, you know, the one building highlighted, <clears throat> and, that, and that's kind of where you're planning to do it is in that one, and you have Correct. multiple buildings on that property, right? And those are for other uses at this time. There's a total of 150,000 square feet there. In that one building? In the entire oh, property. Gotcha. And the space that's highlighted there yep. is um, later depicted, if you go to the very end, uh, third to last page. There, there is a, a there is a pullout. A pullout, eleven oh, okay. by seventeen, printed out of the floor oh, plan gotcha. of, of just the highlighted area. Okay, thank you. So and the highlight that that's on the plot plan, and then this is just that area. Yep. Right, and the, and the plan below that is the entire part. Is the whole whole parcel. So the other two buildings will remain your other business, or. Uh, yeah, for the time being, we're, we have other business in there. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes okay. Yankees renting. Uh, Hardig is in one of the buildings now. Gotcha. They're renting okay. from me. Yep. Um, we have pro we have some of the space rented to us, but okay. Yep. You have your community but, meeting tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Community yep. outreach should be here tomorrow at seven. Where is it going to be? Here. Here, here. Oh, at really? seven. Yep. Yes, the regulations do say that yep. these meetings can be held in public buildings. It had so, been scheduled in another location, but that location had some structural building problems. Yes. The so Polish club. Yeah. Yep. There's le a leak in the room. <laughs> yep. So they had to can we had to cancel that meeting. The meeting would have taken place by now. Yep. Hmm. Didn't know that either. Okay. Um, Right now it's scheduled for 28,000 square feet of, of cultivation. And the loading bays will be secured. Um, and we're going to have some, we have a cultivation plan, which is, which is talked about. Uh, we'd be applying for a special permit as soon as there is a special permit application yeah. available. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to update it, and we're going to have that ready because our plan it doesn't. It's not adjusted yet for the new okay. marijuana Correct. purposes, but I've worked through can with council to get that updated. So um, we, we're within. We're well with. We're well outside the school and buffer zone mm -hmm. requirement. Right. Yep. In your in your bylaw, um, we talk about the security requirements. And, making sure that there's a motion detection, perimeter fencing, facility lighting, um, cameras everywhere. We'll have retail security checkpoints as you enter the establishment, whether it be for medical marijuana or be for recreational marijuana. You can go either place, but there'll be checkpoints at both places. I see. Good. So um, there's, there's adequate parking. 
uh, photo ID will be required. And we're not going to gear anything certainly toward minors. There'll be warning statements and all the edible products. Um, we're going to meet all the requirements in terms of post potential employees who are disqualified, the regulations, the state regulations go into that in great depth. Um, it won't be a problem in terms of traffic. Traffic turns in and off 91. It's not going to be bother anyone. There's no neighborhood to speak of in that area. It's an industrial area. It's an industrial zone at the present time. Um, we're going to keep smells. We're going to have filters to make sure that smells don't emanate from the property. Um, and we will be, of course, um, having the local retail sales tax that you've called for. And there is no requirement that we pay anything with regard to cultivation, but we would like to support the town. And we are, are suggesting that we pay 1% of all the cultivation sales. Um, we, don't, um, yeah. we don't have regulations per se yet. Um, I actually have a draft that I've was working on with Dick Kalaszewski, our health agent. And um, we um, had come to the conclusion that we were going to have individual host agreements for each part of whether it's cultivation or manufacturing or um, retail. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, I'm glad that you feel that the, um, you don't mind having an expense because we um, – Really, or at least my my feeling is very strongly that we need to have a robust um, education plan and program within their schools for our kids. And, and so, we talked about a separate donation of twenty five thousand dollars. It could be to the Deerfield Elementary School. It could be to the Frontier Regional. It could be split between the two as you see fit. And we actually didn't delineate that as a, a, a for specifically for education, but that was the thought actually. Yes, yeah. that would it, be for education. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know enough about anything yet, but um, I do know that our um, we have uh, provided money for um, a resource officer, and I, you know, he's done an outstanding job of trying to build relationships with the kids for the last couple of years. So we would want to build whatever program that we end up with. Um, we would want to build on that. Um, the work that he's already done and, and you know, um, support that. So I, I don't want to speak to what we think we would be talking about, but it would be education-related. Um, and just as most of our emergency preparedness is going to all hazards, it's, it would really be wonderful to support a program that would help kids make good decisions whether whatever it is, whether it's alcohol or marijuana or whatever. And so um, we'll get into that hopefully pretty soon. Um, a couple of things that um, you just were talking about um, it, that we're talking about on our regulations is um, best practice training. Um, people have talked about tips training, but the tips training that I went to um, it was really alcohol related and so I don't know what the industry is doing but um, there must be some kind of training for handling marijuana that would be um, along the lines of a tips training but a marijuana version and and if you were going to do the retail part and and have edibles I think we would really be appreciative of you having like a safe serve um, certification kind of thing Sure. Nothing out of the ordinary, but just best practices kind of thing. Absolutely. Um, and again, I don't really, uh, Dick and I have not been able to um, identify any particular training, but rather than the tips training, I would prefer something industry can I, training. I can add something just to this. Yeah. Um, I meant to, I think I put it in my notes, but I, I got an email today from FERCOG. When we went through our district local technical assistance type projects, I guess we had put in something about that, yeah. and they wrote today to say that they, you know, yes, there's, they'll 
work with us on that kind of thing. Oh, perfect, so. perfect. Um, so it's not that uh, that you. I'm, I'm really glad that you're open to this because the idea is just to be proactive. Well, absolutely, because we yeah. we don't want any incidents whatsoever at this facility. We want everybody well trained, mm -hmm. and we certainly don't want it to adversely affect anyone in the community. And, That's and critical. the other thing that we were um, concerned about was um, personal uh, protection, uh, you know, kind of equipment for employees. In other words, just from an exposure point of view. Again, we're not informed enough to know what, but some kind of measure that you might have to protect your employees where you would, you know, so they wouldn't be overcome by fumes of some sort or whatever. Uh, I, I'm sure your operation, um, if, if you're setting it up, would be compliant, but we, it was something that we were concerned about, and we weren't really sure on how to put it into our regulations, but we are working on that from an employee point of view, a safety point of view. Just to, and and we, we imagine that sort of being part of this, this special permit process, we'd be presenting more information about that. Perfect. Just to, I just wanted to clarify, point. the select board here is also the Board of Health, and that's the, those are the regulations that she's oh, okay. referring oh, to. Oh, yes. So, I'm I didn't sorry. That. And a lot of these rules are new and evolving every day, so I, even I have a hard time keeping up with them myself. And that the, the Board of Selectmen and the Board of Health, you know, we implement these types of regulations for the health and we also I guess negotiate the host agreements but it's the planning board that does a site plan review and the special permit for the licenses right so just I figured you knew that but do you have any other questions no I just want as you were talking I just wanted to bring that up that we were working we actually don't have the regulations yet but mm -hmm. we were gonna do the first read tonight and hopefully adopt them that's um, great. As a board in the next, by the next meeting. So um, we just wanted to clarify a couple of things. We definitely would welcome that kind of input. How, how much time does it take for you to get the permitting through the state? Well, the process is a little interesting the way that you set it up. I know. I mean, not every community is doing it like this. In a, in a lot of communities, we appear we reach an agreement with you on the appropriateness of the location in general and we reach an agreement on the financial aspect of it which is really sort of the purpose of the the host community agreement sure. and then you say we don't oppose it or we're in favor of it and it's contingent upon us getting our licenses from the Cannabis Control Commission, sure. and it's contingent upon us getting our licenses from the town of Deerfield, which in this case is site plan review and special permit. So we're kind of, you know, in other towns, you're able to go on both of those tracks simultaneously, <laughs> and you get an establishment quicker in your town, which is beneficial to the people applying, but it's beneficial to the town too, because money starts coming into the town earlier and you're not sort of behind Waitley or another town which may have something going in more quickly. Um, the way it's set up now is as soon as the special permit process is open, we're going to go apply for our special permit and get that as soon as possible. But then we're going to come back to you for the host community agreement and we can't apply under we can't apply to the cannabis control commission until we have a host community agreement that's really clear in the regulations but I, th I think we decided that we were um, as long as you started the special permit process through the planning board that you could do that as a parallel process oh great we're not it's right. not uh, I misunderstood that in the, yeah. when, I, when I read the regulation. Well, I think at first it was yeah. set up like that, but I, I agree with you. I think it's not fair and that it should be a parallel process. Great. So we've tried to be really generous and robust in terms of when you get to the sort of the positive community impact stage in what we're suggesting to the town. I mean, we could have come in and said, okay, we're going to give you your percentage for the retail and we'll give you $25,000 in the 
state regulations don't call for anything for cultivation, we're not doing that. We're suggesting we give you 1% of, of the cultivation and we're going to be creating 30 to 40 jobs. We're going to try to keep them local to the extent that we're able to do that. Mm -hmm. we're going to, and um, so if there was $3 million of cultivation, that would be $90,000 a year. No. Yes. In retail. Hmm? Plus retail. So, so ha have you had an idea of how much, have you done any studies about how much you think you would sell a year, what your retail sales would be? I mean, this is, I know it's a new industry, so how do you really know? But. Um, well, with 25,000 square feet, it's not unfair to think that you would do $3 million in a year. And, but and we, like you say, it's a new industry where we don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, most of it, most of it, people say is uh, going to be recreational. Mm -hmm. Maybe 20% will be medical marijuana. 20 to 25% are the numbers people are using in the industry. And uh, that's based on, on, on what's <clears throat> happened in other states yep. where recreational has happened. Right. Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, when you were, you were also representing people in Waitley, I think, or not? I'm sorry? Are you also representing no. others? Uh, well, just I just had the question about who initiates. Do you give us a sample host and we, do you want us to? We how do you have want to a do draft host agreement. Okay. It's already almost done. Uh, I had a question to Carolyn because she said that they that the plan was now to separate the cultivation from the retail in the host agreement. Is that true? Well, we were uh, Dick and I uh, we we hadn't discussed this as a board, but Dick and I's um, suggestion to the board was that um, we have separate host agreements for every different kind of um, marijuana facility, whether it's cultivation or retail or. Manufacturing. Even if it was the same proponent in the same place? Yeah, okay. because um, the costs, you have to document the costs, and we and this is no subsidy from the town. So all costs need to be covered. And um, obviously there's, I feel strongly that, again, the educational part is very important. So no matter what you do, whether it's cultivation, because some people are just going to do cultivation, you still are going to contribute to an education um, support in the schools. So um, we can, you know, if you're if you're doing you're doing multiple things, it's it would just be a, it would be a separate document, but it basically could say the same thing. I mean, I, well, this is not to make an extra work. It's just that I there there will be expenses whether you're doing just cultivation. And, or medical dispensary and retail. I mean, most people think most costs are going to be in the retail part, which is probably true. But there still is going to be a cost for that um, cultivation, and I still feel and I feel like they should still contribute. Um, do you do you want us to prepare the drafts for these? Or I, I would have rather have yes. I would rather have you s submit it to us to, for okay. review. Sure, we could prepare we three drafts yeah. and come back as soon as you're able right. to see us again. And, and, and again, it's not to make extra work. It's just that if someone is just doing cultivation, it, we want to be able to attribute the cost, whatever it is, reasonable cost, to the cultivation part. And, and that's going to be part of the host agreement. Um, is this so, do you know about that with the CCC? Is it going to be okay? Does anyone know? No, they just, they, just, they just want a they just want a host agreement. Okay, we can put it under one umbrella if okay. if you're doing it. But I, the idea was that we still wanted a host agreement from marijuana cultivation persons, and we also wanted to attribute all costs to that, you know, and including an educational proportion part. We we could draw up one agreement with three subsections. Perfect. Mm -hmm. The idea was to make sure the costs were um, accounted for. That's all, and and then we had some kind of reasonable make, uh, way to do that. There is there is an issue, and some other places have raised it as to, you know, people are charging X percent and <coughs> sort of saying, well, that's way above the cost, and the regs say it should be reasonable, right. but it's not forever. It's something to be revisited to. Right. 
Well, like I said, it, you know, it's mostly to make sure that there are, are no costs. The town is not subsidizing any anything. Absolutely. And and this is a way to calculate what everything costs. From, you know, like Board of Health expenses, police security expenses. But also, I think that I like the fact that uh, they took the initiative to offer money where they didn't because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not saying that people are lined out, but this could be a competitive process. So, you know, whatever works best for the town, I mean, we, we try to be as open-minded as we can, and we're going to look out for the best interests of the community, you know. We welcome people like yourselves to come and do this, but you know, we, our job, too, is to protect our citizens in, in, in multiple ways. You know, you understand what I'm saying. Totally, yeah, and sure. we're, we're trying to be as straightforward. Yep. And, and I appreciate that. And, and, as, and, and honestly, move this process as quickly as possible. Right, yes, sir. That's want, our goal, we want to, to be totally transparent. And we want to facilitate it as well. We right. don't want to be the persons that are holding it up. That's why we were doing the regulations as fast as we can. Uh, we have not agreed on a permit fee, um, application fee, because we don't even have the permits completely updated. But you know, it probably would be around $500 for us to cover our paperwork and staff time. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be anything outrageous. I've called around to try to figure out what people are caught charging and, you know, they're all over the board. But, you know, we're looking like $500, something like that. Something that's reasonable. I don't know, sure. If Again, this we it. haven't discussed it as a board. This is just Dick and Mai's yeah. recommendation. Yeah. I, I was just going to say, because, you know, I don't want to bring this out, but this is our time to talk. I mean, we, there are a lot of different things that, you know, if we have an attorney who's charging us, you know, three to five hundred dollars an, an hour to review this thing, and they spend a couple of hours, and, you know, we have a two thousand dollar. I know. You know I'm, I, I'm that's totally awesome. aware of it, and that's yeah. why we're covering our expenses. But it, yeah. the reason why I suggested five hundred is because we want to make sure that we cover some of the staff time, yeah. and okay. but we don't. We, this is new to us, so we don't have. Um, a lot of um, history. So we're trying to call around and see what other towns are doing and other cities are doing and just be reasonable. We're not do me, trying to do anything. Let me just ask your permission. Um, uh, I'd like to have, apparently Pat Smith did the, the site plan application for us previously. I'd like to have her do it again. Mm -hmm. She has the big document. It needs a lot of sort of editing and updating. I don't have the final bylaw yet to pop into it so I'm gonna I need you know I, I'd like her to do that she's she did it last time so just to ex expedite having a permit application in order when you yep. said you don't have the bylaw which what we adopted at town so meeting it's not yet it coded into the oh. permit application package. Well, you have a printed copy of it though don't you uh it, I have what we did at town meeting. I'll have to. I was gonna say, cause I have yeah, I'm going to work with Pat on. Yeah. I would like you to say yes, please do. She yes, did it so last time. Yeah. She knows the whole thing. It would be easier than any of us to do that. So that's what I'm We asking. need to do that because we don't want to hold down. anyone up. Right. And then we can figure out, yeah. based on that, what our permit fee should be then. It will be so not unreasonable. It will be somewhere. And that's the special permit fee you're talking about. This is the application fee, right? To the, um, um, it's the execution that the permit fee that we charge as a board. Sure. Permit. That's not the special. Permit. Isn't it? Two, is it two? Is there an additional special permit fee? Yes. Is a separate fee? No, this is a separate fee for. Well, no, this would be the the. This would become. Uh, this is our. Is it not the board of health regulations you have in front of you? Yeah, this yeah. is the. It's this is the permit. You're talking permit application that can be obtained at the town clerk's office. This is the one I'm assuming that you're updating, right? Right, and that we charge 250. Is that what it is? I'm trying to remember from the. I don't know the fee. All right, but I've got that. No, I'm not sure what fee you're asking me. Special permit fee. Special permit fees to the planning board is 250. Yeah, same, same. Well, we were going to because we were going to have to have Lisa look at it. That's why I upped it to 500. They're on retainer. Okay, so we need to talk to Lisa. Yeah. But one of the things on here is that each applicant is required to provide proof of current CCC permit. And I was going to delete that because this is a parallel process. We're, we're going to go over this. Space, but I, 
I guess these are the sample regs that um, the Mass this Boards is, of Health Association and the Franklin Regional Council of Governments have given us. Oh no, 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 no! This is from um, Board of Health. Right? This is what Lisa. I don't want to confuse. I don't want to confuse these people. Um, so, so oh. the permit application that you're speaking of here has nothing to do with site plan review or the special permit. This is this is this would be for us as the. Granting authority. Okay. Granting authority. No, uh, no, but you're not. The, We're not the granting, not the granting authority. authority. No. We're the host we, agreement. We, we, we do the host, host agreement. agreement. Right. Yep. So we should tell them that it is a separate permit fee. Correct. Yeah. Oh, well, this is what the regulations and, and are for. And the permit it's for fee us is as the select board. So I understand. They understand. This permit fee would be not is to cover the clerks. Our town administrative fee, and like her fee, and also whatever legal fees that we right. are involved to review. Okay. Right. Did I make that clear enough? Yeah, I think it's, it feels like it's in the nature of a host community agreement fee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Granting it's, it's fee. Just, it's granting a process. fee rather, it's a rather processing than an application fee. fee. This is the first I heard of it tonight, so I don't know what name to put on it. But so so yeah. it kind of feels like, you know, we come, we agree on a host community agreement and as part of that in addition to what we're offering on a yearly basis mm -hmm. we pay x dollars in order for the permit to issue right right it's it it's um like i said so we don't we're not subsidizing the marijuana business we're right. trying to cover our costs but not excessive and that's why you know there's like an hour or so of legal fee involvement it feels like an issuance fee, but it could be, it could be made up front too, however you want. Yeah. Uh, really, here to get to the point where yeah. we're well, I'm saying so, I'm, you. I'm just a, sort of apologizing and trying to give you as much information as I have, even though we haven't discussed this. It's going to happen in the next two weeks, you know, between now and our next meeting. But we're still just working on it. Yeah, I suggest if you have things that you want to go forward is to go to the planning board as well. I, I mean, you can I'd get on the agenda and get to the permit can. application as soon as possible. Uh, so you can you, do I that. thought you said that the application wasn't ready yet. Yeah, it's, I'm saying I'm tr I will get it to you as soon as possible and I right. ask them permission and we will to do And we will do that, but we hope to sort of come back to you with a proposed yep. host community agreement and say this is what we propose. We'd like your approval of it mm -hmm. contingent upon us getting our local and state permits. So what is the date of the next planning board? Meeting? It's the first Monday of the first August. Monday of, of August. August. So it'd be the sixth. And, 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 and just and that's why I wanted to make you aware of it, because this board meets every other Wednesday, mm. uh, but the planning board meets the first Monday. So if you don't get the things in time, so everything happens, then it just puts things off. You know? Yeah, and we may or may not be able to, we may, be, we may end up there in September. Okay. But we could come back to you theoretically in two sure. weeks sure. Yeah. and get you proposed exactly. post community agreements before that through Wendy and you can review them. And, and, and we'll. Um, we might even be able to reach an agreement in two weeks on the host community agreement part of it. Are they um, executive session negotiations or are they public negotiations in your experience or knowledge of that? I think boards to treat it treat it both ways. Okay. I. Yeah, I wonder what section would that be. Well, I, again, I, don't know. I, I would Legal suggest contract. that be Wouldn't we be. ask Lisa how okay. she wants to handle it. No. Okay. No, we would just we yeah, think no, it needs I, to be in public. And to be honest, we we've tried to be get to the point where we think is sort of at the level of utmost generosity in order not to have to go through that negotiation process, which inevitably is a little a little antagonistic. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. you know. No, I agree. We'd, li we'd like to avoid that if we could. Sure. Great. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, I nice don't really have any other questions. Just, I, I just feel bad that we're not moved I just want to say, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no. I did have sorry. someone come in who received a, a butter's notice, but he didn't know what it, who you were. Or you, there was no identification other than the time and date and place. Didn't say uh, the name of a company or anything like that. So. Do you have a copy of the butter's 
so I, I, I knew what it was, so I can tell oh, him, but... I'm sorry. Yeah. I've seen it, so... I, oh, yeah. I haven't seen it. <laughs> but they were, war they were notified. Yeah. Well, it certainly talks about a proposed marijuana establishment. Yep. Right, but... But because it was a town hall, I think they thought it perhaps was a public, you know, one of our boards. We had it scheduled for the Polish club, but then when we went right. to get the fee paid and everything set, they had had some kind of um, architectural disaster, and we know. They, they, so <laughs> yeah. we can't yeah. do it over there. So then in an effort to try to not hold up this meeting, yep. we put it on for tomorrow. Yep. That's fine. I was just saying yep. it didn't say yeah. who it came from. Seven, that's all. Seven. Oh, S it, we just followed what the CCC okay. said that was regulated. Is it 7 p.m. tomorrow? It is 7 p.m. Okay. tomorrow here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And you've arranged with FCAT to have it. Yeah, all set. Great. Well, thanks so much for coming yeah. in. Well, well, thank, thank you. you all. Yeah. So you'll get us a well, host agreement, and I'll get in. you a permit application. Okay, great. Thank great. you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. And we'll be on the board on the agenda in two weeks. Is that right? Yes. Uh, uh, as far as I well, want I to be, and that's up to the chair, but I would think it's so. up to all of you. Yep. Great. Um, we'll, we'll yeah. Sure. Is there a time that would we? They meet at seven. Usually, they don't. They schedule first thing at seven fifteen. Seven forty-five was a fine time. I'm back in waiting. Oh, good. Do you want me to send the permit application to you? Coming up tomorrow. Sure. Okay. Um, Thank you. So it'll be like 7, so 7.30, 7.45. We're going to be here tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So hopefully you can stick around. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Until Saturday. We'll be here tomorrow. Let's see. Next on the agenda. Okay. Okay. Letter of opposition. Letter of non-opposition to medical marijuana. That's a separate one. That's the other one. They just need a letter for the... Ready for that, are you? A letter of non-opposition needs to be listed for them and they're fine. Um, Do you have... <clears throat> I, don't, I don't really think unless you have a host agreement with them, you would, you would issue a letter of non-opposition, would you? Um... I think so, because all you're saying is you're not opposing. How do we know we're not opposing? Um, if you don't have a host agreement. Oh, no. That's right. Well, I, I mean. Just, I just don't want to. Uh, oh, I know. I, I know what you're saying. I, it's just DPH requires this before you even put the application in. So um, the way I, it was said to us, because medical marijuana, of course, was the first thing. The way it was explained to um, at the seminars is that you just, you know, they came before us. They have, you know, they were legitimate, and that mm -hmm. we didn't have any opposition. It's not saying you're supporting it or that you have a deal with them. If we haven't heard everything, I, I kind of like his point that if you haven't really heard everything, how do you know you're not opposed? I don't. I don't, don't want to scuttle it. I just want to ask okay. the question. Yeah. I'm just trying to well, figure out, um, like, I, they haven't asked for a letter. They're not, well, right. they haven't, yeah. So what, why well, do they They'll be in, in two weeks to ask for them, I think. Um, this was the process that we went through before, when I was here before, with, with um, medical marijuana. So I was kind of surprised when that came out, because I didn't realize that it still was following this process with, DPH and non-opposition. Because they're so. still in transition. It hasn't gone to the, the medical marijuana part. It hasn't gone to the CCC. So this yeah. is a separate. Because this is for medical marijuana. I thought everything medical. had been moved. Okay. Bruce? Uh, yes. Uh, tonight, the finance committee approved the reserve transfer of $5,700, um, which was excess appropriation amount for the planning board and annual town meeting. So I think some of this additional appropriation from the reserve fund of $5,700 was relative to the marijuana issue. And we want to make sure that we recoup that. And those are legal fees that 
were charged for, we had legal staff here every night that you had a meeting. They worked on your zoning bylaws. Um, so I think in, in the special permit requirements, <clears throat> there must have been a significant amount of money spent already. I just want that to be accounted for in your post agreement. I, 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 think it, I think at the planning board, we have the ability to charge applicants for different types of peer review and legal work. I don't necessarily know if that would fall under that heading or not, but I agree with you um, that we did spend a lot of we'll money. Spend a lot of money. Uh, to do that. Uh, but what, I, excuse me, Trevor. What, I don't understand, uh, or I guess I'm just unclear as to why the planning board asked for that transfer where the planning board did No, it was legal fees. Legal fees. Oh, okay. All right. Because yeah. the planning board has funds that not this was from our legal account, and right. one of the explanations that Brenda put on the money. form yeah. was why we went over the 30000 that we had appropriated is that we had extraordinary issues come up this year, um, and marijuana was one of them, and, and the time that we needed with counsel around uh, that. We also had the, the various real estate things going on. There were a number of things that happened this so year. It wasn't just... No. No, no. planning board annual no, town that, meeting was yeah, a just two to items. clarify what right. Bruce is saying. In the transfer request. Okay. Uh, there was nothing in there specific to land transfers. Um, That's just the, how Brenda wrote it up. I'm just saying that we should look at the cost. I agree. I can easily do that. Specifically for marijuana. I can easily right. do that. All right. Thank you. And, and I think Thank I you. do believe that our legal bill would be separate out that way. Yeah, but, but, you know, would, that's in pre preparation. That's not for negotiating. That's not, you know. No, I, I get it. But I, I get it. Just, I, I agree. Yeah. I understand. I know. Okay. So but I can certainly, I can, I can we, get that. We can I, add I, that I, to I go the through all the bills. And kind of accountability, because the idea is not to subsidize. Of course. No out of pocket to cost. No. What was that letter in the opposition? What that, um, that was from the Suns. From the folks who were here last okay, time. The Suns. Oh, that's right. Did they change their name or who was? Um, um, it's Suns. Harvest, Suns. 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 Mass. I don't know which is. Suns. Mass. Mass. So, I don't know. So, so, so here's. Um, what they need to do is they have to submit. The letter as phase three, and as part of the when they go to the planning board, they have to show that they have a letter of non opposition from us. It's from us, as, I mean, they, to go to the planning board for site plan as well, they have to have they have to show that they've come to us. This is this is medical, this is different than the whole cultivation and detail and all the whole thing. It's also required as part of their siting profile in the application right. process. Yeah. So that's really probably where they're at, the first so, stage. So, so did you see the counts, comments from council? Council has said, yep. uh, dear Wendy, the letter itself is fine, though you can consider adding language reserving your right in the negotiations of an HCA um, and local approvals. But those are required regardless. The letter of non-opposition is not required until the siting profile stage. You can, in determining whether you should agree to the letter of the non-opposition, insist on reaching terms for an HCA. Either way, the HCA is required by law and needs to be negotiated at some point. Now might be a good time. So my thought was just, why don't we negotiate a host agreement I, at the I agree same with that. time? Cause it, well, because I would want to consider the people that just came for us as well. Oh, I, I, and, and that's one of the topics that I want to talk about is to, you know, um, I, I, I want to do what's best for the community. And, you know, this is uh, or could be a very competitive uh, process and that we don't have to necessarily, if you will, name our bottom line, let them to say, or if these people okay. offer mm -hmm. A and then these people offer C, you know, maybe these people want to bring it up. I, I don't know. You know, I well, I, I think this is, this is um, cultivation two on Mill Village. They mm -hmm. want to get going on that. Yep. So the, the idea is to set this forward, and then they come in and they do well, a host And the cultivation, it, that, there can be multiple ones of those, and they, they don't have to be in that district. So, Right, I, I, but, but I, this, is, this is for them to move, start forward, moving forward. forward from a medical point of view. This is the DPH process. 
This is not committing us to anything. We're just not opposed to them. I, I'm asking moving. because I, I'm clear is oh. we can have multiple host agreements with cultivators, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. And you can have um, multiple, you can still have multiple, multiple retailers. Yeah. It just has to be with. Well, we can't because of the zoning. Well, because of the zoning, well, because of the zoning to 2,000 feet and all but, that, it's very but, restricted. But the cultivation and the facility, the right. processing facility is um, a separate thing, and you can still do that. I, I don't want to hold anybody up, but I, 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 I really I like Trevor's train of thought where we, we don't really know the details. So in, on one hand, I, I see what the, the council, the, the lawyer suggests that we could. But I also like the fact that, you know, maybe we should negotiate a host community agreement and then issue the um, uh, Well, see, I don't want to come to the host agreement. Well, if we can have multiple ones, what's, why, not, why not talk about it? With because them? we're talking about the same address almost. Yeah, we are. So if one goes in, the other doesn't. Yeah. I don't want to. Come no, no. This is no. This is for cultivation. It has nothing to do with. No. This, this is, is for product for, this manufacturing is for, as well. Yeah, medical. Oh, so it's well, the so select board does so hereby provide non-opposition and, and the location of the retail. Why don't you see? If, why won't they separate it out then? Well, this, they don't have to at this point because we we are. My suggestion from Dick, Dick and I working together, is that we do have separate host agreements. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this letter of opposition, non-opposition, is just to do the DPH process. This is not to commit to us to any host agreement yet. We're uh, not ready. We're not yeah. ready for that yet. No, I, I know. That's why I'm. I don't necessarily know that we want to sign saying that we're not opposed. Well, we're, what we're doing is holding them up in their process, in the DPH process. But don't, don't they have to have the host agreement as well as this? So they, no. not, not to start. No, why do these people not need a letter of the, uh, uh, DPH? Because they're doing the retail. They're doing the recreational mm -hmm. marijuana. And so what's together. slowing them up is going for a medical marijuana, for a medical marijuana dispensary. They're doing re recreational and medical together under the new CCC. They're applying for just the DPH whole process. This is part of the old process. Why would they be doing that? I don't get it. That's what I'm, I'm confused about. Because, Why would they want to go the through the old process? The, and the other night right when now I asked, the state is favoring medical marijuana facilities. So if they get a medical marijuana license, then they can flip it to recreational at a later date easier than if you apply, go through the process of a joint one, truthfully, I think. Hmm. But nobody really knows. Well, I mean, how? I mean, the I'm, ones that's who are just, already up and going. The first one that is up, and I do have their host agreement, by the way. I'd like to see that. Um, in Leicester was an operational medicinal, oh. and now it's, it's the one that's been licensed to go forward as retail. They were already up. They were already operational. Yeah. So, uh, would you guys be opposed to having an? An, um, an extra meeting next week and sure. talk about this and sure. I mean I just I'm fine with that. I, yeah I just think actually, that there's so much information here and I no no that's actually why, that's a good idea I because always you know feel what like we could do I learn after I make a decision that I should have made a <laughs> no, different no, no, decision but the, actually this is it's, good because that's how it's I working do, with this marijuana <laughs> right. on, on, on no because actually next week what we can do is just finalize this the, yes the regs I'm, I'm you know, good so with that we have yeah. that like a week early yeah, I'd, I'd like that. I mean, because I, I feel like we're a little behind the eight ball here. And, no, you know, okay. these people bring things forward and it, you can't no, speak. No, no, what it is, it's confusing because it's, it is. it's the, it it's is the very old new. process versus the new combined process. And what we've done in our town meeting, April, we've converted to the double process, the new process. Because before the select board was the permit granting authority, and we were also the ho you know negotiate the host agreement. Right. But now as of our uh, April, we've switched over whether you're medical or recreation medical or it just recreational. We it goes through the planning board, and we're just the host agreement people. Here we go. We've flipped over. The state hasn't flipped over yet, and this is part of the old process. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm just confused why they're going through the old process. Why, yeah, why they wouldn't? I'm, we're trying to look it up right now. Why they wouldn't have just done what these guys are doing? Um, they're supposed to switch over in the well, coming year. January and I asked 1st. him again a couple of times the other meeting, like yeah. why? I was trying to get clarification of why the yeah, medical it, marijuana. I remember that, and he was very adamant about just being medical. Because right. chances because because are they probably get a license faster. Quicker. Quicker. Gotcha. Okay. Well, there was the a state, lot of the state is really hesitant about the the recreational. Yeah. And they're preferring just the medical. So if someone applies for medical, then you can get your medical, and then you can flip to both. I mean, at some point. Yeah. You can apply, and then you can get the second license. Be because if otherwise you have to wait till January when it's all under the CCC. But under now, it's under two processes. The CCC is recreational, and they're actually not giving out any licenses. It's the... DPH is giving out the licenses under the medical, and then CCC is looking at who they've given out the medical to, and then they give out the recreation. Like Patriot, they opened up in June under a medical. In Greenfield. In, in Greenfield, and then they're going to be at the end of the month, they got their recreational license. And I believe what seems, Meta did that to Northampton. Right. Well, I don't see why it's the a state fast, it would... It seems like a faster route. It seems yeah, like a faster route. It seems kind of crazy if they're just going to immediately flip them right over because I've heard that right along that yes. the medical was going to be this there was not going to be a favored. difference yeah. yeah was favored I don't know I, I, I talked to a commissioner the other day and voiced my distress Displeasure. about the whole way this is rolled out as I've said I told we it's, read about it in the newspaper I said why are you not hard. communicating directly with local officials and she said, maybe we should send you our weekly minutes. I said, yes, that would be great. That would be helpful. That would be something. <laughs> well, the, the problem is, I mean, you really try to stay on top of things, and, and it changes. I mean, they're constantly changing stuff. The, um, you know, the mar marijuana establishments for, you know, use, social cafes, you, you didn't have to have them before as long as you had retail. And you could, you know, um, mm -hmm. cap it as a percentage of your um, uh, liquor license. license. Then they changed that. They because have we changed were a it. Yes, yes. Because we're a yes community, they upped it. I mean, you, you know, oh. they rounded it up. To two so versus one. First, right. And so, you know, it's that social consumption. Because there were, everyone was so outraged and complained, fortunately, they put that off for a while. Yeah. I agree with you. Uh, it's so trying. So I, I don't know what to do. So motion to just table this till next week and have a meeting? Yeah. Can yep. you? Can we, we have one question. Yeah, go ahead, Bruce. With, um, since our discussion on medical, do they have to grow their own marijuana? They have to use Massachusetts grown. Only Massachusetts grown for medical, not in the same town. No, they can, they can have just a um, cultivator. Like a lot of the cultivation is going to happen here, and, and, and uh, like Waitley's is going to probably be sold eastern part of the state. I mean, because we like Burnison, ha Burnison's has had a cultivation pro thing up and running for a while, and, and it, it, I think most of it goes to the eastern part of the state. Four or five cultivators worth of marijuana in Deerfield. No, I hope not. <laughs> you won't because everybody and his brother's trying to do it. So. I know. It will, it, will, it will be saturated relatively fast, I think. So is that okay if we meet next week? Is that? that is that all right? Or are you um, still good thinking? Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, that's... Uh, Just to talk about that a little further. Did you adopt regulations... For medical previously, we um, not not I mean not the um, not local ni not local nitty gritty because we never nobody came. I mean we all. Well, you had the host agreement with the yes, one, but yeah. that never we never calendar. followed through. So, well, so was there a process for adopting local meeting? regs with that Fine. before? Yeah. But we didn't. I, I may okay. have another meeting. They never that. got to the point where it was serious. Carolyn, do you want to meet next Wednesday the 18th at 7? Yes, that's okay. fine. Why don't we do that? Um, I don't have I my book here. I don't know if I can be here, but I will. I, I cannot. Why was I going to okay. be here next Wednesday? 
we can we can do it. Um, well, we I, I know we can't not deal with other things, but if we specifically just have that on the agenda, then right. we can. Um, you know what? Talk quick, about it. Is there any yeah. possibility that we could meet on seven, seven on the Tuesday, the seventeenth? Well, I'm, I'm right in the middle of trying to figure out a meeting for. Um, negotiating and trying to figure out what we're going to do for Patty's replacement. So there's a doodle poll going out right now for the 17th and 18th. I'm just trying to nail that down. Okay. Because um, I have meetings all day that day, so it would be helpful to have a meeting that night because I that's like my one you free day of the whole week. Came out well, it's today. not during the day. It's the 7 at night. I know, but it would be nice to have <laughs> one day off. Um. I'm just looking to see if I... I know what you mean. <laughs> I worked on a roof for four hours today, moved 250 bales a hand. I have no sympathy. I know. But <laughs> it just would be nice not to have to work. I am a few years older than you. Hey, no, we're the same age. Come on. Okay. okay I, I, I don't, don't care. Uh, um, Trevor, so what do you think? That's fine. Yeah, I'll, we'll, do, we'll do that. And then do I'll what? just... We'll meet on the... Um, Tuesday the 17th? Yeah, that's better for you, and then we'll just see how it shakes out. Maybe their meeting is would be at 6 or something like that. Okay. I don't want to just... That's fine. That's well, good. I was just thinking I, I, don't I have, have Homeland Security and an RE, Nope, that's RE good. We'll do the 17th. Lori's going to go to that. How do you erase oh, good. dates? Good. I was hoping to have Kevin go to it. Because we're going to yeah. be talking about the just, Deerfield flooding just exercise. Oh, okay. Oops. Okay, so that's really yeah. good. So um, so we have a select board yeah, meeting... At 7 on the 17th. So it's now Tuesday the 17th. Yeah. yeah. And then end the... And it will be... Um, the the be agenda there. items will be the regulations Set? and yep. the... Um, yeah, I don't think I can. Whatever we but can find out about yeah. the non-opposition. All right, I'll, I'll just add it. <laughs> I'll add it again. You're going to have five meetings. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Tuesday. Uh, you need an iPhone. Tuesday the 17th, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, so Tuesday the 17th. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, Tuesday. Yeah. And we have a SCEMS meeting on the um, 19th. The 19th. 19th. Yeah. What else? There's something else on the 19th. Four o'clock as Darren Old Deerfield Sam. Town well, Common for the yes. fire department. Yep. Darren Melnick. Seven. SCEMS. And, um, there is an e-board. Initially, e which I'm sure is going to be canceled. It's got to be. Looks no. good. What? The e-board meeting? Oh, the e-board meeting is the following week at the 26th. Oh, it is. Okay, That good. was already changed. All right. Um, but the um, Great River Hydro is having their EAP emergency action plan roll out here at 9 a.m. But since they've canceled, for, this will be the 17th month of cancellation. I'm sure they're going to cancel again, so I wouldn't count on that. I'm hoping to force them to come up with that <laughs> since they're legally required to carry that, to do that so, by right. the tabletop. So next we're, uh, we're going to uh, have Robert Decker as a select board designee to the Franklin Regional Transit Authority. Oh, uh, um, I'll second that motion. I did make a motion. Oh. I make a motion to, <laughs> to uh, appoint Robert Decker as select board designee to the Franklin Regional Transit Authority. Uh, I'll Robert. second that. Uh, any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Are we not uh, going to talk about the others? No, no, we're just going to table both of them uh, for right now. Uh, uh, police station air conditioning. Oh, under new business, it was just yep. the marijuana regs, so I'll photocopy the, what Dick and I have come up with okay. and hand them okay. out to you. Um, those... Uh, when the you, air conditioner, apparently. Me, sorry, when when you do get those new rigs, are you going to give those to Wendy? Can you email those to us? Oh, I've you know? already I gave oh. these samples a long time ago. Well, there's, I know, but yeah. I, but sure, when you get them to the me. The reason I want it is because yes, if things before change. before the meeting, yeah, right. Yeah, sure. If I read them and then they change, it's like. Oh, oh no, I was going to give you, because I marked up these. So okay. I was going to, this is what Dick and I went over. Okay. So I was going to photocopy them for you. Okay, that's fine. I'm good with that. Okay. All right. Go for the police station roof. Um, well, um, I just wanted to, us to make a decision on the air conditioning, but um, Deerfield Academy came down, and what the problem was apparently is there was no access to the back, and they uh, cut a hole to access the back. We'll get some air. 
And um, they, it was mucky in there. And they cleaned, Deerfield Academy people cleaned it out. Well, it was really nice people. of them. Yes. And, um, a, and they um, capped the pipe that was not capped, apparently, never. So that was one of the reasons that it was Just always freezing performing. up. Yeah. Well, I, I did. I, I went up there and I looked at it with John. And so it seems to be working. So I don't, we don't need We're to. going to hold on that for the yes. moment? I was going to say, we, this is ridiculous. It's causing mold and mildew and wall damage and ceiling damage. And we just yeah. need to take care of it as long as it's been doing it, at least a decade that I remember. Every time that it's over 90 degrees and high humidity, it freezes up. Yeah. But apparently. They think they may have fixed it? The they mold. have, by accessing the back and cleaning it up, they were able to do it. They, it was, the front one was cleaned up. It was like. Yeah. I don't know that much about it, but yep. the front was part was cleaned up. Yeah. The back was never cleaned up the yeah. entire time for 20 years. And so, so we'll it was installed not well. So we'll and wait until the next heat wave and yep. see how it goes. Yeah, but it seems like it's okay. I think okay. The, water, the water problem was uh, from the condensation tray up there. It wasn't properly vented and uh -huh. it didn't, didn't get done to the condensation pump. It would just leak over the edge inside oh, the unit yeah. and yeah, it would get to the bottom. Before. And yep. it rusted and stuff like that. So okay, yeah. so they fixed it, and um, so we should be very thankful that it was minimal. But we've, I mean, every year it's been we've been having people come in and look at it for repair, and it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So I, I put it on the agenda before it got fixed, but it got okay. fixed since it, last week. Mm -hmm. um, the extra enforcement for recreational marijuana. I Greenfield is opening up. Our Patriot Care that's in Greenfield is going to be transitioned from a medical dispensary to medical and recreational at the end of the month. And I was um, concerned because, you know, um, we have impaired drivers on the road from, you know, marijuana anyway. And it, if we have more, com you know, traffic coming through town, it's really important to be clear that. Um, you know, if you drive impaired in Deerfield, you're going to get stopped. So, um, but I, th I talked to John about this extensively and my concern. And, um, you know, we've, we, we have, we, we pay for a good police force yes. uh, that is constantly patrolling. And as a result, I feel like our crime rates, even though we're right off 91 and 116 and people are at work all day, um, we have our crime rate is pretty low and and that we do, when we do have break-ins we are pursue it and and that reputation gets out there so i wanted that kind of reputation out there that if you drive through deerfield impaired you're going to have problems but um john feels that um at this point he just wants to monitor it mm -hmm. and see if there's any increased issues and then talk about putting on extra patrol and I was fine with that because obviously we don't have any revenue to offset the expenses. Right. But I did talk to um, Jim Lovejoy, um, who is the president of Mass Association of um, Mass Selectmen's Association, and um, and asked him that I feel like the state is collecting all this money from taxes on marijuana. That there should be some impact to abutting communities. Um, and one of the things is to provide for extra patrols or extra policing or whatever. Mm -hmm. So if you feel supportive of that, I would like to bring this up from the town of Deerfield to MMA and have them um, request that the state provide some extra patrol money or whatever, just like they do for you know the alcohol enforcement when it's holiday time. They give money out for extra you know stops and patrols and stuff. So. But trying to get money from the state is going to be difficult. I mean, with tobacco stuff, look at they collect, you know, almost fifteen million dollars on taxes. Plus, they get another eight hundred and forty million, and they only spend one point four million in uh, their programs. So, um, but you know, the the police. I know that the police are very active on Route Five and Ten. I can say that just about every night I see a car pulled over. In my view out of my living room window at least two or three times every single night. So Well, that's why John just wanted yeah. to monitor it. He didn't feel that he wanted us to take on the expense right. of the extra yeah. patrol until, okay. I mean, they aren't opening up till the end of the month and just see what 
happens. But they're the only going to be the only ones in Franklin County at the moment, and so I would just anticipate extra traffic through Deerfield. Where are but they the, sited? Where is the building? Um, it's right behind Greenfield's Market. It's in the old um, American Legion building. They rehab that building. Yeah. But there is no test that I know of where they can really cite the person for impaired driving. No, only if you smell it burning in the car, I would think. Well, but even can, that, if you have it in the car. Well, the problem is you have to. know if it's like burning in the car, yeah. like a. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you can. They have, they have protocol that you can tell, and and then they have somebody that will, you know, you have to have a second officer, like, to support the observation or whatever. Hmm. I mean, that's why it's expensive because there isn't like a breathalyzer test kind of thing. Right. And I mean, it, so that's why it's a hassle. Yep. But I think we should be being, trying to be proactive on that, at least complain to the state so that they at least should be thinking about it. Does this community, if, if a police officer stops you for speeding and you get a $50 speeding ticket, does that money come to this community or does it go back to the um, state? A, a portion of it comes it back. back. And we get a portion of the stops on 91. To, well, so, you, so if you stop a someone that for impaired driving or if there's a is there a fine for that, and do we get would that supplement the extra? I'm not actually coverage? sure what the percentage of the fine is. I'd okay. have to. Ask and what John. is? Do we have a fine for it? No, no. no. Well, um, they, it's we out of the it's state. Makes state. Makes I mean, they, gotcha. they have a it's a criminal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, we don't have talent. skipped over something on the agenda. Yes, we did, and I'm ready to. We didn't get talk about it. This. Um, oh, I thought we agreed to that. Did we? We did talk. We didn't talk about it. Do you want to talk okay. about it? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to talk about it. I'm sorry. Telepath. Go ahead, Ray. Right. I'm talk okay. About it. So enclosed in your packet is. Um, I saw that. The a position description for a uh, new position, the uh, assistant town administrator, and with a an memo explaining kind of the history of this Sorry. staffing in our office, administrative services slash select board town administrator office, and um, what I am recommending and brought be forward to the personnel board that we create this position. Uh, and it sprang from the experience of having um, my colleague Diana Schindler here purely by accident. We, we got connected over the winter. She was looking for opportunities, and I, need, I came back, and we, we were missing an a staff person. <laughs> and we had a town meeting, and we had budgets. We had a lot going on. And so this evolved from a consulting basis, and I realized I need another professional person in this mm -hmm. building besides my you know, in our administrative part. The Finance Committee did not support the planning position. I would say, what, three quarters of the stuff you're working on is stuff that we would have had a planner working on. Damage control that we've been doing for the land use boards has been a huge part of that as well. Not that we would have had someone in place necessarily, but the need right. got sharper and sharper and sharper, it's as you know, need. and as Kip well knows, being mm -hmm. on the planning board. So at any rate, uh, the Position description is in front of you. It went before the um, personnel, personnel board. board. You've heard from them directly, and mm -hmm. I'm telling you they, an email. they yep. support it, um, and I'm proposing that we create this position. I think um, it's I think it's a very good idea. I, I've seen the need firsthand. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, I've been. Uh, I've seen what Diana has helped us accomplish. Mm. And uh, you know it, it's been uh, outstanding. Uh, I would I'd strongly recommend that uh, we do this. I agree 100%. Me too. Um, and I'm just thrilled that we actually have someone like Diana. Yes. So, um, just I you know we've been reviewing the numbers. We have the executive assistant position in the budget, um, and with the money that. I'm going to advertise this per our personnel bylaws. Of course, yeah. Um, and we were estimating a time of perhaps beginning this. Uh, you know, I know having done searches, it takes this period of time to do. Um, if we don't actually fill the full time, or maybe not full time, because we're looking at how to make this affordable within our budget, not go to town meeting for mm -hmm. um, free cash, or uh, to keep it within the budget that we have for FY19 to begin this. 
uh, probably in September, you know, anticipating a hire for that and maybe at a 35 to 38 hour a week position to not have to seek additional monies for FY19 for the position. If we go through with this, we will have both positions either to fill or not fill, depending on how we go forward, what we determine the needs are in our office, um, which serves multiple, multiple boards, boards and committees, as it you does. know. So, so much work. It does. There's a lot of people behind the scenes. <laughs> an awful lot. So, um, happy to answer any questions. Oh, um, yeah. I have, good to go. you know, I, I recommended and the personnel board was agreeable to mm -hmm. recommending to you um, uh, having this be on grade five and uh, advertising it at step five, um, commensurate with the responsibilities of this position mm -hmm. and the experience that either Diana or another candidate will bring that we need to get the work done. Okay. Someone want to make a motion? I make a motion that we support this. I'm sorry, I thought we already did. I didn't realize that. You, um, I think we were formulating an idea, but no, it hadn't been okay. formula, yeah. form. Okay. I brought it to the personnel Correct. board, worked Last it out. Right. Yeah, no, that's fine. I just was very supportive. It was in concept stage. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, so. all right. I'm, I'm make a motion we support the actual position. I second. Great. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. You're good. No, thank good you. Good luck with the search. I'll have to look for Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. no, I, I, do, I just um, want to echo there's an immense amount of work that has I've seen that needs to get done and is getting done helping. But e even with all that, it's just um, that position has been extremely helpful to you and um, and for what we need to do in town. And I'd be on over there instead uh, of sitting I, here. <laughs> I'd be getting the, paddles out um so much so, you yeah, want to talk about ton. the mvp grant i mean i don't think yes we, um i just want to say that um we met as a committee and Was that today uh, or yesterday yesterday yes sir and we up um uh, uh, uh the steering group met and we um agreed on what we were going to update which was the kelleher drive culvert and um uh, the sewer treatment plants. We were, we were, we didn't give any definitive um, parts of this because we are going to refer to Prickett. And I will certainly work with him to come up with anything that we can, we'll put into the resiliency part of it. Um, but the only thing I could think of that like was like the tanks, increase the height of the tanks. And oh, by the way, then we can rewind everything and redo everything. You know, the cement tanks, they're crumbling. I've been, I was working so. with Kevin to figure out how we can afford this and have Chris, um, we're, we have to formally amend the plan that was submitted and, and accepted and we were certified. Um, and it allowed us to apply for the grant that we've got for um, the other projects. Right. Um, but we, we, we will need additional we, we have match money for those projects, and we will need some money for um, a Chris Curtis's time, who's helping us adapt the plan, amend the plan. So. Do we have um, a, do a, a we, pot of money we're thinking of? Um, or are we well, about normally we would do this under contract services, but um, we don't have, do, everything is already Yeah, I, tapped you know, out. I budget. I know no, you budget. I budget very, very, Conservatively, um, okay. and right. uh, things um, come up. I know. Well, part of this is why I had wanted a line item on our budget for match money that we have to spend to get money. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, we didn't we didn't really know what we had coming up. Um, I I I would ask the finance. I think we should do a reserve transfer from the finance committee for Chris's. Yeah, because it's going it's going to give us access to money. The, the match will give us access to grant money well, to I fix what we need to fix. Yeah. Do you have any other suggestions? Because um, I, I think our budget is so tight. I mean, I, I think all our We're talking about fifteen hundred dollars. So I thought we maybe we'll go. I thought no, we were uh, his the eight, I thought it was eight thousand to do the whole thing. Uh, the, the 
that's different than the, right. We've got the multiple parts to that. We'll sort it out. Yeah. Let's. Okay. I, I have. Cont I've cc'd you on the emails because I want you to be part of the decision about, or the. Bringing well, the the. Discussion. I know. Discussion well, I mean, to the it's board. a legitimate yeah. expense because what's going to do is going to is going to leverage us some money. Uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. To, so to fix that. I mean, we're talking about thousands, so you know, it's certainly worth the investment. Right. To to amend our plan. Um, and and hopefully it'll pick up part of the sewer treatment plant re repairs. Mm -hmm. um, since we already <coughs> did the uh, marijuana regulations. Oh, I just have one other thing. Okay. Um, just to, last week I had brought up the Stillwater Bridge, you know, Conservation District is putting in the grant. I, I have to do it this weekend, finish it this weekend. So I'm hoping the board will write a letter of support, mm -hmm. but I'm writing the final proposal and um, met with um, on yesterday as well on this. Um, I think what, what, what you want to do is you want to, what do you want to accomplish Carol, out of this? Could you back up a little? Because I think people are listening oh, and Diane okay. don't know exactly what you're talking about. This is about. the conservation, Franklin Conservation District, which I chair, has um, put in a letter, a pre-proposal to the state for $35,000 to do public meetings on solving Stillwater Bridge, Uranus Williams area, and Sunburn Beach up in Shelburne, which are all public areas that natural riverbank that has way too much traffic, policing issues, trash issues, costing the town, aggravating the neighbors. There's major trash issues at Stillwater this 4th of July. Weekend. I know. I have pictures. And, the, and all, all the heat waves. I'm actually taking it to Fish and Wildlife tomorrow at the state commission meeting and complaining to state, state um, to the wet Fish and Wildlife people because they need to have the trash picked up on a more regular basis it's, when it's hot, hot weather. Yeah. Um, oh, but anyway, um, the idea is to have some kind of public meeting. Oh, they, they, they sent a proposal back to us and said, yes, they, they like the idea of this. So we, I need to submit next week the final proposal. And we had, I had asked you to think about what you want out of it. And mm -hmm. what I wanted out of it was somebody to help us stabilize the banks because the natural river banks were never meant to... Um, have that much traffic. We have we have litter problems and we have policing problems. Mm -hmm. So expenses. So the idea is to have public meetings so that people can complain and vent and and then have discussion. It'll be facilitated. You have, to have a meeting to do that? Yes, you have to have you should bring everybody forward so everybody's complaining. A lot of people will show up for that no, one, I'll tell you. Yes. That. But um, the, it will be facilitated well, well, and the idea is to catalog all the complaints, all the problems. Any, and then take in any solutions or suggestions, and then you go to the state, because you, what you're doing is you're setting up the situation so that you can ask for money for a fix. The, the river bank, stabilizing the river bank is really important. You know, having some kind of trash pickup is really mm -hmm. important. Is there anything else that you all wanted to put in the proposal? Well, having better access in, in somewhere to the Deerfield River. I mean, because the whole reason everybody goes there is that's where they swim. I mean, they, they won't even get out of the way of a car. They've got 6,000 inner tubes. You can't get by. It's a safety know. hazard. You know, who knows really heat or if it's they've been drinking all day, but it's really a dangerous spot for I agree. cars to travel that bridge. And, you know, I don't know if people are still jumping off the bridge. Or, I mean, it's just, yeah. it's, a, it's a party well, scene they have, all, all they weekend. Well, um, they have property next to Cheapside Bridge. Right. About years ago, they were supposed to put in a handicap access boat ramp there, mm -hmm. and they never did it. So well, part, of see, this, part of this is to say, you got to do it. You, know, you can allocate do something the money. like they're yeah. doing in Sunderland, right? They're, yes. They're fixing that whole boat ramp area and getting and an access. And this is why I'm doing this, so that we can set them up to request them to do that and say, look, that's my this goal. is a problem. Okay, because that's exactly what the idea is. Make it safe and yeah. make it place safe for people Great. to access because that's the that's the place you want to do it. Okay, what's that? Moving along. Do you want to have me do a report or not? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, no, but what I just, report I just want to, no. so you support, sure. you would support a letter of? Yes. Oh, oh, okay, I just need you to sign it because I'm signing the actual application. Uh, I, I have no problem signing it. Okay, great. 
moving on. It's moving just on. a letter of support. Support yes. for the grant. All right, just let me know when I will Gr sign. The grant request. Okay, yep. but let's, we'll let's probably, move on. We'll probably okay. get it because they told us. Let's hear from our apply. town administrator. Okay. Um, back in mid-May, I gave you uh, kind of an outline of all kinds of things. Uh, board items of most immediate concern, longer term issues, most immediate concern items for me, and things that Diana as special projects coordinator was handling. Um, a lot of these things have, we've taken care of them, but many of them are still um, ongoing. Um, uh, uh, so I, I'm going to just yeah. mention that and I sure. refer you back to that. But um, so in my report, what I, I wanted to say is, uh, you know, I realize this point in time is kind of midway through my three-year contract with you. And so I'm looking forward and thinking, okay, where, are we, where am I going with you? I have personal goals I'd like to accomplish on behalf of the town for you, with you while I'm here. Um, and those are kind of at the top of the list are policies, the financial policies. We discussed this quite a bit at Finance Committee tonight. It's something that was started and kind of before my time and we're getting back to that. I'd love to see those done and there's strong interest on, uh, mm -hmm. on uh, I would say CIPC would be interested in these as well. Right. Um, getting our tenure batted around a personnel policy finally done. Um, uh, moving from bylaw base to personnel. That's another high priority. Um, uh, having the board better positioned to present the budget proposals to the finance committee mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. getting, making sure that we have a better and earlier process for that so it's less piecemeal and less whatever. Yeah. So um, getting, taking a look at these bigger projects and really starting to think about prioritizing them, or at least as we was talked about earlier, doing some financial forecasting and seeing how the big, pick, big cost items that have been talked about for quite a while fit into that scheme. Um, I have training for employees and officials. Um, I've talked about that before. Performance reviews, at least for department heads, get that going. Um, and building on the work of the sewer study committee, you know, recognizing mm -hmm. that they did substantial amount of work, had a lot of discussion, perhaps didn't come because of some sticky issues to a final report, um, but um, figuring out, and I know you want to speak to this, uh, Bruce, what the charge and what the role would be of the committee, that's your decision. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, would, I would recommend that uh, utilizing them to work in tandem with the select board and um, DPC whole, consulting yeah. as right. we move forward with that plan, there are deliverables at a certain time. They come back to this committee. Right. You ask questions. You steer it in this direction. You shorten it, whatever. Just to check in periods as that process goes along over the next few months. I'll get that going as soon as possible. As you develop a plan for upgrades and improvements to this uh, treatment plants and collection system, uh, develop, fully developed capital plan, financing plan, grants, borrowing, making making the determination and, and you'll have to depend uh, who, how it's going to be paid for by users. That process, um, I think we're committed to doing that process um, starting in September, end of August, September, we were going to start meeting on that. Well, we're going to get the contract signed and you can start work mm -hmm. right away. You know? yeah, well, I just had council wanted to change some things, add some things, so okay. the back over with him and then be, it'll be ready to sign, but I think he's ready to go. Right. Um, so the big sticky issue is the, the cost to uh, townspeople or mm -hmm. so. I know. Uh, and restructuring of the billing system, taking a look at that and looking at the proposed regulations. What, what is the actual um, process to do the two management areas? Is it just a vote of the Sewer commissioners, or do we have to have a special town meeting to do that? Oh, you don't have to go to town meeting. Um, mm -hmm. I have sample, uh, no. Yeah, we'll, we've read that. Uh, yeah, we have I to mean, sort that out. I want to sit with Barbara and I was under how we do that. They I were separating the bills. They were separating the bills. They've been separating the bills for more than a year. But uh, we also, I, as, I was under the impression that not only we were separating the bills, but we also... Uh, we know the difference of the income and the expenses. So we, 
it's the last information the I got, I sure see, you know, where the money's being spent and where the revenue is coming from. Right. So I still feel like we need to sit down, get, iron out whatever the mm -hmm. software issues or whatever, just get that clear yeah. so we're all on the same page and we can move forward with that. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we have sample bylaws, sample regulations. We've got to, we have okay. to um, upgrade our whole operation from administrative mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, operational and capital for the sewer, including, you know, documents we use that are unclear or mm -hmm. whatever. There's just a lot of administrative kinds of things I'd like to deal with. Um, also front and center, I really feel like we need to deal with the senior center and mm -hmm. senior housing and the mm -hmm. statewide age, friend, age friendly community initiative and just really move that yep. uh, forward. And related to that is uh, we're behind the times on getting an ADA plan, an um, Americans Disability Act plan. There's grant money for that. We should really put, get moving on that. So those are kind of the key things I, I'd like to Would that help on. with a, a senior center? I mean, with the church, the ADA grant? This is just a planning grant, yeah. which would identify what you need to do. Oh, okay. So we already know. I mean, Lisa, we basically know. There is spoke, still matching money you need for that as well. So. I spoke with Lisa White today, our, our town nurse, um, and she was hoping that she was going to come back to us in two weeks, and maybe we could tell her we'll be meeting in a week. It's, um, she no, was, that's not for that. <laughs> <laughs> she no, was, we're just marijuana next yeah, week. She just was hoping gross. in two weeks, she was hoping to come back with... Um, Every friendly... Uh, <laughs> she wanted to um, have the town designated as a, you know... Age-friendly. Age-friendly community, and uh, it didn't... Does that, give us, it does, does that give us? Yeah, yeah, but does that give us the ability to have well, walkability and sociability um, grants? I th it may. I, I, oh, she's going to put that together sure. and let us know okay. about that and educate us on that. It doesn't um, pigeonhole us to anything. It doesn't require us to do anything. It just, you know, it, no, when we do planning, that we're, we have that in mind. Since I mean, over fifty percent of the, is it fifty cent or forty cent? It's a large number of our. Residents are over 50, so. Yeah. Really? Yes, uh, <laughs> okay. a very large and percentage. And all of our public so. officials are. <laughs> no, not, not all. No, 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 not. Um, um, not so, sure anyways, um, yeah. so she's gonna. I just told her that I would mention to the public and the board that that she'd be bringing for that. We would be very supportive of I that. I thought we would. So. Um, I and. I was going to just mention that, you know, this past uh, last couple of days, I talked with Wendy a little bit about our, our personnel. And I'd like to, and I know that we have personnel files, but I'd like to see that we have personnel files for every employee uh, of the town, except for the school and the police department. And I'd like it to be kept in our office and with the town clerk, um, identical copies of each and every say three months, I'd like those files to be reviewed to make sure that anything that's in there is in there. So if there's a document that goes into somebody's file, it goes both places. Well, just and to, to review it, yeah. to see if something, you know, all of a sudden you go into the selectman's office and say, well, I remember last year this, is, oh, it's not there anymore. So you can go over there to verify it's there and then find out why it was missing and things, things like that. That was troubling to me. Oh, so well, you it, know, we really need to many. keep them just in one secure place. Why well, can't we keep it in two secure places? Um, there's just sort of limited access to things that you've well, not multiple people. Well, that's the whole people. thing about it, you know, because yeah. like you pointed out, the things have been missing, and you know, well, uh, and I'd like a check. I'd like it, some sort of a check. And it, there's not that many employees, so you know, it's only going to take up a few inches right, of somebody's we, file. Right? I think it's a matter of having a secure system in our office. That's all. And I think we do but now, I, 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 but I'm not sure. Right. So I need to. But. Actually, different people have access to different things. And, and what I'm saying is if you have it in two different places, the likelihood of people having access in two different locations are going to be a little bit less likely. And, and I like the fact that now with Isn't it doubly likely? Doubly <laughs> likely. I don't care. Yeah, you, you know, know what, what I mean? If it's in two places, then it's... Yeah. yeah we'll okay. talk. <laughs> we'll talk. But I'm committed to that. That's yeah. a big... You know, I pointed okay. out to Kip that I have this sure. four-drawer cabinet. We're moving everything in there. We're going to straighten everything out. Um, mm. Right. So is there any public comment this evening? Okay, Bruce, you're on for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Bruce, the last, did you know last time Diana actually timed it? It was 25 minutes. Well, I, I didn't open that whole can of worms last time. Well, I just want you to know that. Clock go, ahead. go ahead, clock Mr. Sankey. I can't help it if you took all night clock to get this far. Ticket. <laughs> Bruce, just 
afraid of the competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't want to hear about marijuana regs then, right? No. Okay. Okay. I would like to know, though, is what's happening to the little red house if Mr. Valone's applying to... Can I just say something? Sure. This is public comment, so really should listen. Okay. Yep. And All right. take notes All right. and address at okay. a time. We haven't right. sorted, so we go for another We haven't sorted right. anything Thank out, All right. Uh, That's why we're having a meeting again next week. First comment is I... Why, and this is not a question you expect to be answered, why with all these speakers hanging up all in this room, mm -hmm. whenever we have a public meeting, nobody can hear? And I've heard this comment that the speakers, these microphones are only for the television, but I know I was in here one, uh, one meeting back several months ago, and whoever was doing the operation in there had them all going so you could hear everything in all parts of the room. The acoustics are terrible in here to begin with, so just your voice, does, it just gets mixed up uh, around the I, building. Actually, I'll check on it. I'll check on it. We'll okay, check on it. We'll check that, on it. That, that, was, that was a comment, not, and we don't want to get into questions, okay? okay? Uh, zoning bylaw is, and there again, I'm having trouble hearing. It sounds like you're assuming that that's already gone through. From my interpretation from when the people, from the lady from the Attorney General's office is, Zoning bylaws can go into effect immediately. However, they still have to go through the Attorney General's yes, office. Yes, they do. So in anything that you're doing, you're kind of gambling as to whether it comes, if you go ahead on that assumption, you may have to backtrack. Uh, they were approved. Yeah, they were approved. Oh, they, oh, they, they, they have been already? Yeah. Oh, that was pretty quick. That's all I'm going to say. Sorry. Yes. That's very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, following up on... Uh, what Wendy was talking about uh, is a uh, uh, sewer board. We have not had a meeting since March, which was the straw mm -hmm. poll and so forth. And reviewing what our charge was up at, and I don't want to get into a long discussion what did or did not happen prior to that. Mm -hmm. um, from what Mr. Prickett's submit submission is, that he is contracted to do, he's pretty much picked up the whole charge that was written for us to do up to that point, okay? So what I would like to do, and I think that's pretty much what you're talking about, is if this committee is going to continue, uh, I'd like to see a written charge uh, of what you expect out of us at this point in time, because everything prior to this is pretty much taken care of. And, uh, and if nothing else, uh, so I can contact the rest of the committee so that they're not standing there wondering what's happened, and when mm -hmm. I get an email, what's happening, I have some sort of an answer. So I would appreciate, you know, some sort of written comment back on that. Yep, fair enough. And because uh, we're just kind of in limbo at this point. Um, I think I think I um, conveyed multiple times, Bruce, that I'm hoping the committee put so much effort into um, learning what the situation is and learning uh, information that I was hoping that you would sit with us and um, participate in the meetings and any informational nights that we have or whatever and help us make good decisions. I'm asking for that in writing. That's what okay. I'm asking for. Yep. So right. I, I can send okay. that back out to the six individuals. Okay. 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 Uh, the other thing is, is I know uh, Wendy touched on, and unfortunately it's too late, on this uh, uh, stuff about the uh, bylaws, changing them and all this stuff. And I know... Um, Make sure you read everything carefully before you go jumping on bylaws, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, because the letters that were written were recommended practices. They were not said, they said they, they were required to be done. And last but not least is before the sewer committee can c continue, we sat there for two years and every time we'd start to work something together, a dollar value came out, and somebody would say, Who paid, who's paying for it? Well, not me. Well, you should pay some. Well, no. It needs to be taken off the table if there is going to be any distrib distribution or if there is not. I don't care. I just want it off the table if I'm going to chair that committee mm -hmm. so that that subject is a, is a moot point, mm -hmm. okay? And because we have different opinions for over a period of a year and a half, and I just want it nailed down, say, Fine, we're doing this and you're doing that, or you're doing the whole thing. I don't care. It just needs to be taken off the table, please. Yep. 
Congressman. Okay. Fair it's enough. <laughs> and that's about it. Great. Thank you. And Thanks, Bruce. Have a good night. So, <laughs> That was quick. We have a motion to dissolve. Motion to dissolve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.